day 98 and today I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to try to record as I'm walking because in the last two days I keep on forgetting to do the video and uh, so while I'm still thinking about it I'm gonna try to do it now. So I'm walking to my yoga. Um, I've been doing yoga, practicing yoga for 20 years and it started when I was pregnant with my twins a friend brought me to try this new studio and of course I used to live in New York where there were like 10,000 yoga studios all around me and I used to think that this is just such a waste of time I don't have time to sit and breathe I used to tell myself so that was really funny so um, anyway, when I was pregnant with my twins and like my back started to really hurt and it was difficult and heavy to carry them toward the end. Um, and I carried them to term actually 38 weeks, so it was really heavy by the end. A friend of mine brought me to try a yoga class and oh my God, I loved it so much that I continued. It just felt so good. I think I finally understood that this was my thing like I was never a hugely sporty person as a child I was actually an introvert bookworm like all this stuff to the great despair of my parents um, and then when I was in college I tried a couple of things aerobics I always did love dancing as well I used to do a lot of dancing as a kid um, but what happened with yoga is that I mean, I used to run, you know, when I like jog and all that. Uh, but what happened with yoga is that it felt so amazing in my body that I just wanted to more and more and more. And that is actually what kept me in such a regular practice over the years, because even if there were times when I would stop for a couple of months, I would always, always come back because it just always felt so incredible afterward uh, that, you know, I just always came back. So that was something that was the only, I think, exercise really that I could sustain because I love it. So it's actually what I advise now people in my group or people that I work with, choose a practice that you actually enjoy, that you can sustain, that you'll come back to, not because it's another one of your chores, but because you love it so much, like you can't wait to do it. Huh, sorry. So, um, yeah, so I'm walking to my yoga. I try to do two or three times a week, pretty much for 20 years now. Um, I've gone through Ashtanga to very intense trainings to now um, more of a power yoga. It feels really good. It's challenging me to a certain extent but not terribly so and I noticed how my relationship with my body has changed so much over the years I used to push myself and I used to even practice yoga for the way my body would look and looked whereas lately it's really much more of a healing kind of modality where I enjoy the way it feels in my body and I really don't care about the looks uh, but what, what is always, what's really interesting, and I think I may have already spoken about it, is that I always feel beautiful when I stretch and do these shapes, and it just feels so good, you know, so good to be in my body. I really enjoy the way it feels. So yeah, so running to my yoga class now, and what is interesting is that Because I've been doing this for so many years in the morning, that walk to my practice, and I've gone to different studios over the years, but this morning walk to my yoga practice, where it's still relatively early in the morning, and I'm still under the impression of my feelings, you know, how that this day is starting. I've gone through so many different feelings over these morning walks to my yoga class. And what I noticed today, and this is actually what inspired me to 
to do this video now is that I realized in the last several days I've been waking up really early. Maybe it's because the air is so crisp and cool now and just so pleasant. Maybe it's because I just feel so excited about my life now, you know, with the upcoming trip and and I have uh, my new cohort of Safe to Be Me starting this week and I still have plenty, plenty of calls today and tomorrow. And it's just so exciting for me always to meet new people and to anticipate the group that's starting to form itself you know people who are attracting each other like magnets to each other um all this is very exciting so i just felt like today was such a you know i just had such a spring in my step walking here and just feeling excited and extremely extremely grateful about you know this life and and uh, how far i've come and yeah, kind of, I guess what am I trying to say is that I'm celebrating me and I wanted to share it with you. I hope you take time to celebrate your little and big steps because it's so, so, so important. Oh my God, how my relationship with myself has changed so much. And you know what? It's, it's the key to everything. Learning to love ourselves and to celebrate ourselves is, is everything. So here I am. And um, there is a sea right on the side. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.